Well, hi again, everyone. I'm CBS 19 Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony. We've had days this month where it was rainy and cool and the high temperature never got to 70 degrees. Well, tonight, the low temperature is not going to drop below 70 degrees. So complete 180, maybe a summer like night out there, especially with the humidity and the winds out of the south. The skies have cleared out a little bit. We were mostly cloudy. We're still mostly cloudy in Tyler, relative humidity at 82 percent. Perhaps the biggest number that I'm going to show you here in the next couple of minutes is this, the sunset at 8 p.m. All right, so the sun sets at 8 p.m. today. The sun does not set before 8 p.m. again until August 20th. So we've got months now to go where we're going to have long amounts of daylight stretched out into the evening and wonderful things to do outside. Clouds radar animation tonight, a lot of cloud cover out there. It's thick, but you can see it thinning out west of us, out toward Waco and Dallas. This is all tied to this big upper level low pressure area that is going to slowly churn its way eastward in the next several days. It may get cut off, and if it gets cut off from the main flow, the red dots here, the red arrows, that's the jet stream. If it gets cut off from that, it'll stick around till Sunday, and we'll be dealing with rain until Sunday. As for tomorrow morning, a few showers up to the north of Interstate 30. Rest of us just kind of warm up into the mid 80s. And then Thursday morning, very early, about 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning, you see several scattered showers and thunderstorms along this cold front that slowly works its way through the area Thursday. And because it's moving so slowly, it has potential to produce a lot of rainfall, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Severe risk tomorrow is just out to the west. Tyler, marginal risk up to Athens to around Mount Pleasant. I'm not sure that we'll want to get into any of that. So I think Wednesday is dry for most of us. Thursday offers up the best chance of rain. And this is going to end up being more of a flash flood threat. And here's why. These are impressive amounts of rainfall, especially between Thursday and let's say that storm system stalls and it's still here on Sunday. So you're looking at five inches of rainfall in some parts of East Texas. Big Bass Bonanza Friday and Saturday, not bad. Mid 70s on Friday, small chance of rain. Saturday, 74, comfortable with a, with a sun cloud mix. 70 tonight, a few showers to the south, otherwise muggy. Tomorrow's high temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s in our northern zones, Linden around 85. Central zones, Carthage 85, Tyler 86, Athens 84. And our southern zones will also be in the mid 80s. Lufkin up to about 85 degrees. Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. Again, Thursday's the rainiest of the days. Leftover showers Friday. I'm a little concerned about Sunday. Scattered thunderstorms are possible, but we'll look over that data again. Colleen Campbell will have an update tomorrow morning starting at 5 a.m. on the morning loop.